in the Bible, in the book of Acts, one of the most interesting things to watch is how the apostles, when they speak, when they give their public speeches, they differ in how they present the gospel depending on the audience. One of the most important and interesting places to see that would be Paul speaking to a synagogue in Acts 13. These are people who believe the Bible, Jews and Gentiles who believe the Bible. And then you see him presenting the gospel in Acts 14, though it's brief, to a group of you might call blue-collar pagans who were polytheists who believed in all the gods. And then you can find him on Mars Hill in Acts 17, talking to the Stoic and the Epicurean philosophers who were, you might say, white-collar pagans. And the way in which he presents the gospel there is very different than the way he presented it in Acts 13 and Acts 14. And right away we see that the gospel presentation is adapted to different audiences. Not only do we see that in the book of Acts, we also see it when Paul actually speaks in his own letters. In 1 Corinthians 9, he says, I have become all things that by all means I might win some. To those under the law, meaning Jews, under the Mosaic law, I have become as a Jew. But to a person not under the law, I have become as a person under the law. What he means there, again, is he's adapting. He's becoming, that is, he lives and speaks differently depending on who he's living and speaking with about the gospel. And so you do see there's a biblical reason for this idea of adapting. So let's just talk about what then contextualization is. If I was going to give you a definition, it would be this. Contextualization is adapting to the language, adapting the biblical truth to the language, to the, um, the culture, to the sensibilities of the audience. So it's adapting biblical truth to the culture of the audience without compromising the truth in any way. It's adapting without compromising. It's adapting so that the gospel is as compelling and as understandable as possible without compromising its truth. Another way to put it is, contextualization is not giving people the answers they want to hear. It's giving people God's answers, which they may not want to hear, in language and in forms that they will find most understandable and perhaps most convincing.